this. We've got a 10 ton Daikin system here on a house on a residential house and they said the thermostat is blank transformers out here on a 10 ton so we're gonna start out here yeah it's a no it's a seven and a half ton not a 10 ton Seven and a half. All right, the transformer's not out here. I figured it it would have been, but I guess it's on the inside. This is a heat pump. It's in a big mechanical room. I dropped a screw. Let's go find the air handler. All right, so we got a disconnect over there. I hope it doesn't have a burnt fuse because it's going to be hard to get to with that shelf. All right. They got this thing wrapped in reflectors, man. Transformer is going to be down here, but I want to see if we got power. there okay we got power let's check these fuses good 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 okay we probably got a blown fuse or something down to this cabinet yeah this is a uh, seven and a half ton daikin Chuck. Right here. Okay. 
Make sure I didn't miss a screw here. Yep, there's one hidden behind this tape. I keep dropping screws. Another one. Oh, and another one. There we go. There's the belt. My controls should be in here. Yep, there they are. Another screw. Transformers in here. It has a resettable fuse that was popped. All right, something keeps popping the resettable fuse. Yep. It's popping it right away. We have a dead short somewhere. Let's undo the yellow wire and see if it's coming from the contactor or something outside. Both yellows are off. Nope. Still popping the fuse. So this, this is the thermostat.
Okay. It's coming from outside. Whatever it is, is coming from outside. Okay. Whatever our problem is, is coming from out here. Because when I touch the red thermostat wire from the thermostat, the fuse doesn't pop. Or reset, the resettable fuse doesn't pop. But when I touch the red from the condenser, it pops. So... We've got something. Going on out here. could have a shorted out defrost board. Let me kill the disconnect. Okay. Let's see if that, that defrost board is burnt. Doesn't look burnt, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm gonna pull the red wire off the defrost board. And see if that cures it. That'll tell me if the board is bad or not. this one right here this one <clears throat> there we go okay it's a jumper now let's go hook it back up inside and see if it pops the fuse Fuse is good. It's reset. That did it. That defrost board is shorted out. Okay. So we got a shorted out defrost board. Oh, yeah. 
No, the fuse is still good. It's still, yeah, fuse is still in place. It's still reset. We need a Goodman defrost board. Yep. Okay. All right, so after about a 45 minute trip each way, we have our new board. We are out in the boonies. Relay energized. So that definitely solved our problem. The uh, transformer's still good inside. The resettable fuse did not pop. So we definitely got a short in this old defrost board.
Nelson valve common. Pressure switch two pressure pressure switch one. All right, let's go see what happens. There she is. She's operational. back up and running oh yeah she's heating good I'm gonna go button up the inside all right guys I got the inside all put back together I sprayed uh, the belt The belt was squeaking a little bit, so I sprayed it with some PB Blaster, and it's not squeaking anymore. And I did not put the reflectors back on. <laughs> 